Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Way of the Hunter, and we are still out here on Transylvania. And that's where my mic just cut out and left this video with absolutely no commentary. So we're going to try to do commentary over the video, guys. So we're out on Transylvania, like I said, and we have found some rabbits. And the thing is, I don't think I've seen anybody do any content on rabbits yet. And uh, it's crazy because I was beginning to think maybe they forgot to put the rabbits on the map. But uh, sure enough, they, uh, they do have the rabbits. And we're in the uh, the grassland areas, so that's where you can find the rabbits. And we're going to try to use the Jackrabbit Predator Caller to uh, see if they'll come in. Now, because I know what happened, uh, I can tell you guys that they did come in. And this may be the absolute best way to level up your calls, guys, because you have to... Sell 10 animals that you call in to get to the second level of your caller. And I mean, if you can find these rabbits, they come in very easily. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take out the 22. And we're going to shoot this guy. Now the thing is, he's not actually coming into me. And it's just, uh, it, it's very kind of fickle with uh, what they count as animals that, that are called in. And good lord, that caller sounds so weird. I mean... It kind of sounds like a, a baby crying or, uh, or screaming or something. But uh, this guy, he, he's coming right into us. He's, he's not playing around, so. And good lord, that was the first time I ever shot the 22, and that thing is loud. Wow, is that loud. I was not expecting that, and uh, that's uh, exactly what I said when I did this video the first time. But uh, yeah, that that 22 is really loud. I uh, I was really surprised at the way that sounded. I was not expecting that. So the rabbits are all running around acting crazy. Um, the rabbits in this game. <laughs> They do some strange things. Um, apparently, rabbits in these games are very hard to get right. Because when they introduced these rabbits to Call of the Wild, they had some crazy issues with them as well. And as you can see, that is an adult male. But if I'm being honest, guys, rabbits, I'm not too worried about. So... Yeah, we're uh we're literally going to take out pretty much every one of the rabbits that we see here. So we're going to start calling them in again, but not with the hog collar. That's that's not the right one. There we go. But uh yeah, these rabbits do some crazy things, man. Like they uh they float in the air and they'll uh, they'll run around <laughs> flying above the ground and stuff like that. It's uh it's pretty comical. Um, I guess it's one of those things that people are going to complain about that is going to take you out of the immersion of the game, which I get. But again, I think rabbits must be one of the more difficult critters to uh, get right in these games because, like I said, Call of the Wild, they had a hell of a time getting the rabbits to uh, act correct as well. So now, we have another rabbit coming directly into us. So I don't know if the rabbits are bugged right now or what, but I'm going to tell you guys right here now. Um, they don't really seem to spook. Like, we just shot two. The other ones are running around acting crazy, but they calm right down, and you can call them in 
again. So I'm not sure if that's the way they're intended or if they're a little bit bugged right now or what. Um, they're not good money, <laughs> but if you're looking to level up your collar, they're, uh, they're a pretty easy way to do it. And look at them, they're just running everywhere. I will say, I, I had a lot of fun just uh, taking these guys out with 22. And as you can see, that one right there, he was kind of like doing some crazy like Jedi running trick or something, man. I don't know what was going on, but we're going to take out the again. And we're going to try calling him again to see what happens. Because at this point, I was like, is this a bug? Is this just, you know, is this how they're supposed to work? I don't know. Because, like I said, hunting pressure doesn't seem to be a big deal. And uh, we have 5 out of 10 now that we need to get called in. And like I said, hunting pressure doesn't seem to really affect these rabbits. Um, we've just shot 2, and these rabbits, they're not going far. So, I don't know. I I'm kind of thinking maybe that's that's what they're intended to do. Because the other animals in the game, you know, when you shoot one from the herd, they take off a, a good distance. But these rabbits, they, they stay right in the vicinity. So we have a two-star mature. A mature female. So we definitely want to take the two-star mature male. But somehow... Somehow we botch it. So I thought that was the male. But uh You'll find out a little later on that that definitely was not and ooh. We have some fellow deer over there. Now at this point I had to do this mission to uh unlock the last region that I have for this map. We have to get a double lung shot and a fallow deer. This would have been the perfect opportunity for that, but I uh, I opted to stay with the rabbits instead because I really want to try to upgrade these collars. So we kind of take our t attention away from them. However, I do want to make sure there's nothing like a, uh, a five-star over there. So there's an adult female. So we're going to try calling him again. And I wanted to test this because I didn't pick up the dead rabbit. I wanted to see what would happen. I wanted to see if they would come in, uh, even with that dead rabbit, you know, just sitting there. <laughs> Just for the uh, the sake of science, I guess, and experimentation. So there's the two-star mature male. That's the one that I thought we had dead in front of us. But uh, in fact, it, it wasn't. I don't know what happened. I could have swore he was the one in front. But uh, I guess he did the old switcheroo on us or something here. Now, as you can see, it definitely looks like that one's coming in. And, of course, that is the wrong gun. I don't think we need to be shooting rabbits with a 308, do we? There we go. I guess I I guess I just realized that. You think I would have realized it the first time when I seen that scope on it, but no, because we uh we put the smaller scope on this. We put the uh, the seven times magnification scope on the uh, twenty two because I wasn't planning on taking any really long shots with it. And we got another one down, and we could have probably got that one down too if we would have uh, really really thought about it. All right, so we're going to go 
pick these two up. So I really thought this would have been seven out of the ten that we needed here. Right lung. It's in a lung shot. I like the models. I think the models of the rabbits look really good. I think they did a good job with the rabbits. That was just a flesh hit. Adult female. And that right there, that is our two-star mature male. That's the one that keeps getting away. I guess uh, I guess there's a good reason why he made it to his old age. And he is just acting completely crazy, running all over. It's funny because he's running back and forth, but he won't leave the vicinity. And that's the, uh, that's the thing I found very interesting. So we're going to kind of just crouch in this tree. And we're going to see if we can call this crazy rabbit in here. I think we should name him Bugs. <laughs> so he is just running back and forth like mad. I will say I thought it would have been cool if they had maybe like a burrow and he would have, uh, you know, ran in his burrow or something. I think that would have been pretty cool. So there he is over there. Now, this is one of those things that I was just experimenting with, guys. I, uh, I just wanted to see if I could, in fact... Call him in when he's acting so crazy. And that tall grass, they are quite difficult to see. So we are going to give another call. See if maybe, maybe he calmed down enough that he'll, uh, he'll come in. So you can just see him. He's right over there. He's he's definitely not coming in to the call this time. Which makes sense. I mean, we just pretty much killed his whole family. <laughs> And as you can see, it says 5 out of 10. Now, I thought that would have been at least 6 out of 10. So I don't know why those two didn't register. Uh, the one definitely should have. I mean, he was coming, or she, she was coming right towards us when we shot her. She was definitely coming into the call, but for some reason it just didn't register. And uh, I don't know why. A little unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. And... This guy here, he just, uh, he really didn't want to come into the call. So if anybody out there actually rabbit hunts, like, uh, let me know. Is, is this something that, uh, is kind of realistic with rabbits? I mean, I know, like, I have rabbits in my yard and... I don't know if they're stupid or what, but, like, they'll just sit there. And, I mean, you can get pretty close to them, so maybe this is kind of realistic. But uh, this guy is just sitting there, so he's got to go. I'm going to take him out, and, ooh, what a flip. What a flip that was. What a good performance by, by Bugs Bunny over there. So we're going to pick him up, and he is definitely not going to count towards that because he didn't come in but we're gonna pick him up anyway if we can if the game will allow us sometimes this game is really finicky about 
that, but there he goes right there. Hard shot and double lung. There's our two star. 10 pound, 23, 23 cash. He scored a 255, and it's scored by weight, so I'm still not sure exactly how they do that, but we're going to sell him. And, guys, that's where we're going to end this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I haven't seen anybody really do any rabbit hunting yet, so I thought it would be a fun video to make. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. But until then, guys, happy hunting.